A while back, someone messaged me asking me to respond to Dr. Shame's ambitiously titled God Disproved in 20 Seconds. I finally got around to watching it. Now, I never heard of Dr. Shame, but the comments were filled with atheists gleefully drinking Thea's tears from a chalice. Is their triumphalism warranted? Let's find out. Hint! It's not! It never is! It is impossible for a square circle to exist because it contradicts its own definition. The Christian God is defined as being simultaneously omnipotent and omnibenevolent. However, it is impossible to be both omnipotent and omnibenevolent at the same time because an omnipotent being would be capable of evil, while an omnibenevolent being would not. God contradicts his own definition, so he is like a square circle, impossible to exist. To be omnibenevolent is to be morally perfect, that is, to will good in all things. But does God just so happen to be morally perfect? Or is it impossible for God to be morally imperfect? Stated differently, is God's omnibenevolence a contingent or a necessary attribute? As it happens, the alleged contradiction doesn't hold in either case. But answering the question both ways provides us with a common sense refutation and a more theologically nuanced refutation, respectively, of Dr. Shame's argument. If God just so happens to be omnibenevolent, the refutation is trivial. Because God is omnipotent, he is capable of evil, but because he is omnibenevolent, he simply chooses good of his own free will. As long as God chooses not to do evil, there is no challenge either to his omnipotence or his omnibenevolence. Now what if God's omnibenevolence is a necessary attribute, meaning that God is not merely omnibenevolent in our world, but omnibenevolent in every possible world? Indeed, various formulations of ontological argument give us reason to believe this is the case. Moreover, God is not a mere moral agent in the world comparable to you or I, as there is no basis for morality outside of God. So what then would it mean for God to will evil? Evil does not refer to a particular action, evil refers to a property of actions, and the property referred to is that of being contrary to the will of God. So for God to will something that is contrary to his own will is the contradiction in terms. It is, to use Dr. Shame's own example, a square circle. It is impossible for a square circle to exist because it contradicts its own definition. So even starting with the assumption that God is omnibenevolent in every possible world, there is still no contradiction between omnipotence and omnibenevolence. God can perform any action in principle, but the property of an action being both according to and contrary to the will of God is logically incoherent. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.